Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to solve this non-homogeneous differential equation. Firstly, obtain the complementary function for the associated homogeneous equation, which is the left-hand side. We can rewrite as a function of m by referring to the order of the derivatives, the second order. So we take m squared, followed by the zero order. So we have plus 4 m to the power of 0 and we set equal to 0. In other words, we should have co-creative function m squared plus 4 is equal to 0. Which means that m squared is equal to minus 4. Square root both sides, we should have m is equal to plus minus square root of negative 4. Square root negative is imaginary number. So which means that we have plus minus 2i. And this is in the form of p plus minus QI. The general form of complementary function for the case of having complex roots is y is equal to e to the power of px times c1 cos qx plus c2 sine qx, which means that we have yc is equal to e to the power of 0, we get 1. So we can ignore this part. Straight away, write c1 cos q is equal to 2x and plus c2 sine 2x. Next, obtain the particular integral by referring to the right-hand side of the equation. Since we have exponential function, which means that we should have a general form of a e to the power of bx but this is power 1x so we just have to copy 1x and followed by trigonometric functions so which means that we should have b sine 2x plus c cos 2x unfortunately when we refer to the complementary function we already have the term cos 2x and sine 2x which means that we should increase at least one degree for this so we should add x here and x here next differentiate with respect to x differentiate a e x we have a e x again differentiate the second term by using the product rule so we should have differentiate x times sine 2 x u dv dx so which means that we have cos 2 x differentiate 2 x is 2 plus b du dx plus c also apply the product rule so u dv dx sine 2x with negative and we differentiate 2 so negative 2 plus v du dx Let's differentiate for the second time. Differentiate a e x again. We have a e x plus b. To differentiate this term, we can apply the product rule. Let this be u and this be v. So we have u. Differentiate cos is negative sine. Differentiate two x. We obtain two. Two times two is equal to four. And we plus v du dx. So we have two. Next term is plus differentiate sign is cos differentiate 2x we have 2 and proceed to the third term c again we should apply the product rule like this be u and this be v so we have u dv dx differentiate 2x again we have 2 so 2 times 2 again 4 and we plus v Differentiate u minus 2x, differentiate is minus 2. And next term is cos 2x. So which means that we should have negative sine 2x. Differentiate 2x, we have 2. Let's simplify. We should have aex plus b minus 4x sine 2x plus 2 plus 2 plus 4 cos 2x and we plus c times minus 4x cos 2x minus 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 4 sine 2x 
and substitute all this into the equation that we have. So firstly, we have the second order, so which means that we should have a e x plus b times minus 4x sine 2x plus 4 cos 2x plus c times minus 4x cos 2x minus 4 sine 2x. Next, we have y, 4y. So which means that we should take this, the particular integral, and we times 4. So which means that we have plus 4aex plus 4bx sine 2x plus 4cx cos 2x. And now we should simplify. So which means that this is equal to 1a plus 4a, which is equal to 5a, followed by ex, and we have b times minus 4x times sine 2x, and this is opposite of 4bx sine 2x. So then this is plus, this is minus. Minus plus offset each other, no more. So which means that the second term we left only plus 4b cos 2x and next we have plus c times 4x cos 2x and this is opposite of 4cx cos 2x so cancel each other no more so the third term left only minus 4c sine 2x and this is supposed to be compared with the right hand side of the differential equation so we have one ex is compared to 5a ex so which means that 5a is equal to 1 and hence a is equal to 1 over 5. next we have cos 2x cos 2x and coefficient is 1 but we have 4b so which means that 4b is equal to 1 and b is equal to 1 over 4. next we have sine 2x sine 2x coefficient 1 but we have minus 4c is equal to 1. So c is equal to minus 1 over 4. Next, substitute all this a, b, c into the particular integral that we form. So which means that we have a, e, x, which is 1 over 5, e, x, followed by plus b, x, sine 2, x. b is 1 over 4. So we have 1 over 4, x, sine 2, x followed by c which is negative 1 over 4 times x cos 2x and we know that the general solution for this differential equation is equal to the complementary function plus the particular integral which means that we have c1 cos 2x plus c2 sine 2x plus 1 over 5 e to the power of x plus 1 over 4 x sine 2x and we minus 1 over 4x cos 2x and hence we're done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a like this. See you.